Hi everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin. In today's video, I'm hoping to give you lots of cleaning motivation and also to share some of my strategies for maintaining a tidy home. Having a cleaning routine or basically doing things the same way over and over again is one strategy that really helps me keep on top of things. So usually our bedroom is the area where I start tidying each day. Making the bed every day is a priority for me. If I get nothing else done, this is the one thing that can make the biggest impact in our bedroom to make it feel tidy. Taking care of this space in our home should be a priority because they say we spend up to a third of our life in bed. And that includes making sure that your bedding is something that is comfortable and inviting for you in the evening. The California Design Den recently sent me a set of their king size sheets to review for you guys. And I'm happy to say that they are really lovely. I received their Sateen Weave 500 thread count sheet set which is made of 100% long staple combed cotton. I really like that they are responsibly manufactured. They are made from 100% cotton and do not contain microfibers that are derived from plastics. So they are environmentally friendly and very safe for sleeping. They are also incredibly soft and I have really enjoyed them. So if you guys are in the market for a new sheet set, I will have the exact ones that I have in my Amazon store. And I will also have a link below to the California Design Dens website. In addition to having a set routine, there are a lot of little tasks that crop up every day. And I try to tackle those as I go throughout the day. And a lot of people call that tidying as you go. For instance, I constantly am cleaning this window because our dog Austin puts his little nose prints all over it. And so as I was cleaning the kitchen this morning after breakfast, I noticed that it was probably past time for me to tackle that. And it's a really small job that takes less than five minutes, probably more like two or three minutes to just quickly wipe down with a microfiber cloth. I use the ones from eCloth. And then I go back and dry it with their window polishing cloth and the job is done. examples of small tasks might be putting away shirts that have been drying in the laundry room or taking the time to quickly fold a small load of laundry and putting them away. Attending to these small tasks as I have five or ten minutes throughout the day really go a long way in helping me maintain our home and keeping it tidy. kitchen I noticed that our hand soap and dishwashing liquid was getting low so I'm going to take just a minute to replace those two. My number one strategy for maintaining a tidy home is using my planner to actually schedule my cleaning. And so I have a weekly cleaning schedule and then I also use zone cleaning to do deep cleaning in all of the different areas of our home. As I'm planning for the week ahead, one of the first things I always write down are the tasks that I want to accomplish in our home for each day. Each task is something that needs to be done on a weekly basis, but that doesn't take a large chunk of time each day. So I can check off that item and feel a really nice sense of accomplishment each day when it's finished. And to remind me of the area of our home where I am doing zone cleaning for the week, I have this little dashboard that clips in and I can use a wet erase marker to record all those things and check them off as I get them accomplished during the week. 
I really enjoy the flexibility of doing it this way because to accomplish my zone cleaning, if I have a little bit of time, I can do one or two tasks, and if I have more, I can accomplish more. On the flip side, I have my weekly cleaning schedule to refer to when I'm setting up my planner for the following week. My planner is the Life Planner from Erin Condren, and I have been using her planners and accessories for uh, several years now, and I am in love with them. If you guys want to know more about them, I have a link in the description box below, and I would love to do a video on how I use it to manage my time in addition to cleaning. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section. Today is Wednesday when I'm filming this, and that is the day that I usually clean our bathrooms. And when I was getting things together to do that, I realized that I was out of the tub and tile cleaner that I usually use from the Grove Collaborative. So instead of ordering more, I decided that I was going to use my essential oils and a recipe that I used to use really often to make my own. The recipe is just one half cup of rubbing alcohol, one and a half cups of distilled water, and 15 drops of an essential oil. And I'm using the Defender essential oil from Simply Earth. If you are familiar with Deuterra's On Guard or Young Living's Thieves, this is the same blend of essential oils, and they are really great for sanitizing and fighting germs. Oops, I almost forgot to mention the last ingredient, and that's a half a teaspoon of Castile soap. I am in love with essential oils and I love finding new uses for them. And in a cleaning solution like this, you really can substitute in several different ones that work really effectively. Like tea tree oil is also really great. It has a lot of antiseptic properties, so it's good for cleaning. And lemon essential oil is a basic one that works really well also. Are so many advantages for making recipes like this myself. This one in particular is really good for all the surfaces in our home. It's safe to use on natural stone, on quartz. We have an acrylic tub and it's safe for use on that. So this one product can really help me clean most of the surfaces in our kitchen and bathroom. And of course it's very economical because alcohol, water, a few drops of essential oil and Castile soap are very inexpensive. And I know all of the ingredients that are going into it so I don't have to worry about any toxic chemicals in our home. the bathroom I usually like to spray down the tub first that gives any product that I'm using a chance to really work on the buildup that happens in a tub and while I'm getting a few other things done things are getting loosened up and making it much easier for me to clean and I do a similar thing with the toilet I usually put the cleaner in the bowl and let it work while I clean the outside and as you can see, I'm using the same homemade product for cleaning the toilet. It does a wonderful job of disinfecting, and it's going to help me save on buying the disinfectant wipes that I usually use because I can just wipe it all off with toilet paper and either flush it or toss it into the trash. This isn't pretty, but you have to clean all these areas of the toilet. Now the tub is ready for a scrubbing with a magic eraser, and these work wonderful. If you have an acrylic tub, this is the thing that you need to get your tub sparkling clean. I know with acrylic, there tends to be a lot more buildup a lot faster. It's just the nature of the material, but you have to be really careful about scratching it. So this cleaner that I made is safe for the acrylic, and along with the Magic Eraser, I have the perfect combination for getting it super clean. Cleaning the 
pictures, I'm still just using my e-cloth microfiber cloth. It does a great job. And then I dry it really well with the window polishing cloth and that gives it a beautiful streak-free shine. the same treatment as the fixtures. is working so well on all the surfaces and I know that everything is going to be sanitized but it is also smelling wonderful in here. The Defender Essential Oil Blend just like On Guard and Thieves contains cinnamon, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, and clove essential oils and this I have to tell you is a wonderful fall combination. So it may be over 100 degrees outside here in Texas but it smells like fall in here. cleaning the shower in today's video because we do that every day right after we finish our shower. So my husband and I, whoever takes the last shower, wipes everything down really thoroughly with an e-cloth and then we give it a good spritz with a daily shower cleaner. Right now we're using the Method one, but I also have a really great recipe. So when I run out, I'm going to be making my own and I'll share that in a future video. Now I am preparing to clean the floors. And so I pick up everything off the floor to make vacuuming and mopping easier. And then once those two tasks are done, I'm finished with our master bathroom. check off bathrooms in my planner, I need to help Peyton out with his bathroom. And I usually clean his toilet and his countertop, but he takes care of the rest of the bathroom.
before my day of cleaning is over, I want to tackle a few of the items on my zone cleaning checklist. And so I'm going to be wiping cabinets and cleaning the stovetop. Having a checklist like this just makes it super customizable because you can add all of the tasks that you want to accomplish in the zone that you're working in. For instance, I don't necessarily need to clean my oven every time. If it's not dirty, I'm not going to waste time cleaning it, so I'll leave it off the list if that doesn't need to be done. But everything else can be done whenever I have the time to do it. So if I choose to spend an entire day cleaning one zone, I can do that, or I can break it up into five, 10, 15 minute increments throughout the week. And when you are the homekeeper of your home, you are the boss and you get to decide when things get done. And so there's no law that says that all of these items have to be completed this week. If I have a crazy busy week and I can't get to them, it's okay. I just bump it to the next week. It'll get done. And if I keep on this rotating zone schedule, things will get touched eventually. And we're talking about deep cleaning here. You know, so if there's something really crucial that crops up, I can tackle it, whether it's in the zone I'm working in or not. It's all super flexible. No need to adhere to any strict formal rules when it comes to this. You get to decide exactly how to make it work for you. guys so much for watching today. I hope I gave you lots of motivation for cleaning some spaces in your home. But more importantly, I hope you walked away with some tips and strategies for how to develop routines and schedules that work for you to help you keep your home tidy. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, I have plenty more on my channel and there will be icons in the end screen that you can click on to see more. If you are new to Faith in Flower, I hope you will consider subscribing. We'd really love to have you be a part of our YouTube community. And subscribing is absolutely free and it really helps me to grow my channel so that I can bring you more videos. And make sure you activate the bell icon because that will notify you each time I upload a new video and you won't miss out on anything. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next video.